All right, so let's see what's going on. At the truck stop, I grab my broom, walk into the back of the trailer. You'll see the, the sad conditions that this ground is left in with, let's face it, trash from truckers. Isn't that pathetic? Pathetic. All right, so I've pinned open the door. This is typical. Well, this is actually pro probably far better than a lot of trailers. But, you know, when you pick up an empty um, after it's been unloaded, this is sort of what you find is remnants of the, of the load. Let me set you down. It's a little slick because it's cold. So let me get up in here. Alright, so here's the problem. Reefer trailers have this chute. Um, and when that is hanging down, the idea is that there's not proper ventilation. And I'm walking to the very inside. See a lot of this pallet remnants, that sort of thing. Um, plastic from sheet wraps. So if you think about where I am, if I was on the outside of this, this is where the reefer engine would be. Um, so the ventilation is pumped in through there. And then the idea is that the chute, right, carries the ventilation all the way down the entire part of the trailer. Um, but if you look at this, let me see if I can get it. There's gaps, right? And that's to allow the air to flow throughout the entire trailer load, which is exactly why it says refrigerated chippers loading above this line will prevent proper air flows. So there is a red line that they are not supposed to put pallets above or boxes above if they want this load refrigerated because it may impact the conditions of their load. So let's get back here. Um, you'll see that there is some tacking um, by bolts, screws, what have you. Um, and then at the front, let's see. I know I'm probably making you guys really dizzy, but I really want to show you this. Um, you can see that the tap or the screws are actually holding up like a small plate of Velcro. And then on the chute, it's got the, the hook part of the Velcro. So I'm not in such a bad shape. All I have to do, even though I can't reach it, um, is reattach that, which is what that bad boy is for. But before I do that, I gotta take pictures of before and after because Prime will pay me for fixing this where I normally would have went to a TA or Petro to do so. So I'm gonna come right back. Okay, so I took my picture um, and I hope that you can see this. I'm trying to place my phone so you can see what I'm doing. All right. Got my handy dandy broom. And I've never done this before, so you're gonna see it in the raw. But essentially, I'm gonna use this side to um, go along the ceiling where the chute has fallen and see if I can reattach the, the Velcro. Oh, look at that! Same would be here. Oh. Oh. Holy crap, you 
guys. I fixed it. That's a successful shoot fix, you guys. It's reattached right there and then on the corner and I'm going to get paid for this little fix. So let's just um, get my sent in, get my picture sent in of the before when it was hanging and now the fix. I'll have to send both. Um, and shower time.